Chapter 23, Mrs. Bunny Gets Sheared Up. Like all individuals, Mrs. Bunny has blue days. Nothing was really wrong, she just felt down in the dumps. Winkle and Bully felt sorry for her. To try to cheer her up, they decorated her window shelves for her. Wow! Though the window was very pretty and Mrs. Bunny loved it, she didn't really feel much better. Santiago, which is Jimmy in Spanish, asked if she would like to hear the song that he and Nicolette had been practicing together. Of course she wanted to listen. Lucy, who was everybody's caretaker, was worried about Mrs. Bunny. She told her a secret that she had learned from a message sparrow. It was about a beautiful realm that was a lot like the enchanted forest, and she told her how to get there. Right away, she was negative about going on an adventure. She said, I can't. Charlie will be too sad. Don't worry, said Lucy. I'll watch him and play his favorite game, Tiddlywinks. Lucy always let Charlie win, and they often just made towers with little discs. Immediately, Mrs. Bunny cheered up and took off lickety-split. She promised to be home in time for dinner and Charlie's bedtime so she could sing You Are My Sunshine to him. She came to a dry stream bed and followed it. She came upon two funny guys that looked like stuffed animals, but weird ones like Dr. Seuss made up. They spoke in odd muffled voices and each pointed in a different direction. So Mrs. Bunny decided to ignore them completely and kept on the way she was told. Wow, the magic doorway. She went through the doorway with no trouble and oh my! she came upon a herd of buffalo. They were singing in low, mooing voices. Buffalo girl, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight. Buffalo girl, buffalo girl. Then she came to a path that led through a gorgeous forest, so she followed the path. 
The air was cool and sweet and smelled like earth and rain. Next, to her great surprise, she came to a log crossing a stream and walking on the log, which was actually a stick crossing a puddle, was a teeny tiny leprechaun. He had a squeaky high voice, but seemed friendly enough. He pointed the way to go so she wouldn't step on their tiny little houses and barns. She passed a large and frightening giant and decided to just run on lickety-split past her without even speaking to the individual or finding out if she was nice. She suspected the giant wanted to eat her, but she did wonder a little bit if the giant was jolly and funny. A giant ogre was up ahead and Mrs. Bunny decided it was time to cut her losses and go home. After all, it was almost supper time. On the way home, she could tell her mood had lifted quite a bit. She ran all the way home. She pondered why she had been so timid today and realized that when you are down in the dumps, you just did not feel as courageous as was your usual demeanor. She got home and sure enough, Lucy had prepared her favorite supper. Yum, yum. Woo, what a day. And that is the end of chapter 23. When you come back next, you can watch and listen and read along with chapter 24.